always loved to paint and, and, and draw since I was really, really little, but it, it started for me when I was, we're living in Argentina and my grandpa lived in a house behind our home, like a little apartment behind our home. And it was my job to take him some bread and the newspaper every single morning. And, and then when we were there, he would draw these little, very cartoony type horses with men on their back, like men on horseback, a big old cigar. And they always were exactly the same. And I was like three, I thought they were the greatest drawings ever. And, and I, all I wanted to do was draw like my grandpa. About 10 years ago, I, I started restoring Volkswagens, kind of for fun, but to make some money on the side, and uh, so that I could keep painting, because this is what I want to do. Every time I got a little bit more adventurous, I got a little bit more ambitious, and I learned something new every single time until I was doing by myself complete, full-on restoration. Uh, the whole time I was painting, and I was doing mostly figurative work, kind of like what this is here. I was doing a lot of portraits, and I was doing nudes, and um, and just kind of uh, settings where there was figures involved, figurative paintings, and and somewhere along there, I was kind of uh, my buses were just kind of staring at me, and uh, and I thought, and I thought, I need to paint my buses. I need to paint my buses. It's what's it's what's real for me. It's what's true for me. I love the, the history that that is behind every single one of these vehicles and the, the story they tell in the rust and you know in their abandonment or in their restoration or whatever it is. I love it. The point in the painting where as you're as you're working on as you're painting and you're thinking about colors and, and this and that, all of a sudden it changes into something completely different and I'm not thinking about color or shape or composition. I'm thinking about how it's alive and how to make it more alive. And sometimes when it's a figure all of a sudden the figure's talking to me and telling me something. It's almost like I fall in love with every figure I paint or, or every, every bus that I paint. <laughs> because I'd never been here and, and seen that whole aspect, I, had, I didn't realize how much I would enjoy talking to people and meeting people and hearing feedback about my work or the other work the, uh, of the other artists because there's so many good artists. It's an honor for the artist to be talking to someone that appreciates my work because I'm not painting things to hide in a closet or, or, or to throw away. It's so that it can be celebrated and enjoyed by a lot more people than just me. And so to be able to get that firsthand is really fun. The other aspect is I didn't anticipate enjoying so much of the art and talking to the artists and their process. There's no artist that paint anything like what I'm painting. And and so because of that, it's completely different and everybody has a different perspective or insight or process.